I said, I see how times have changed. I can't even imagine at 18 coming to my Nigerian parents saying, Mommy, I have a boyfriend. My mother would have, she would have slapped me left, slapped me right. <laughs> stars um i got a lot of really cool things in but i wanted to share some of the stuff with you guys yeah i'm wearing this fun little outfit you guys would have seen this in the outfit of the day series i'm not sure which video comes out first but i don't know where to start because your girl's been kind of busy i shouldn't be busy but i've been busy well i wasn't too bad but i did pick up a few things here and there um i did pick up this frankie shop coat i'll start with that but i don't think i'm gonna keep it so i don't even know if i want to share it with you guys actually i don't i don't think i need to put the full length thing on so you guys can see everything. I just feel like well, you'll see the top part and you'll see why I don't want to keep it. Like the coat is wearing me and I'm all for oversized, but there's something off about this and it's a extra small, small. So I'm like, if this is how it looks on me, then how is it going to look on someone smaller than me? Right? Um, yeah, it's just, it's even with the oversized, it's always supposed to be, off the shoulder but this is too much off the shoulder so it no longer looks like you know it, sh it should have been like this for me just a l just a little higher up and it's still off the shoulder but it it fits so i just feel like this is a little too much i don't know there's something about it that just i don't love and regardless of the price point because i do think this is a great price point at 400 and something dollars i just i feel like it's wearing me and not me wearing it. Oh, I did do a, uh, and that's the, the gray version. Well, the gray version, because I think it's mohair, I'm not sure, but that one was about $800. This one was about four something, but I think I'm gonna return both of them. I just, I'm not a fan of the fit. I really loved my Sandro oversized coat that I got on sale that I shared with you guys, and I still think it's available. So I'll definitely link that for you guys. Um, this Louis Vuitton sweater, ooh, I got this one. I haven't done an outfit with it, but I'm gonna do an outfit with it soon. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> She's so good. But get ready, I'm gonna style that really cute. Um, I did get some other pieces, but they're from, for a collaboration with Saks. So you gotta follow me on Instagram to see that. So I think that's it in terms of all the new stuff clothing wise. Then I do have some PR packages that I'll share with you guys real quick. Actually, let me do these ones first because these ones came in first. So this one says Beauty Essentials. What is this? Bodyography. So I guess they do like customized boxes and they send you a whole bunch of stuff. It's got like press on nails. My daughter saw this and she's like, Mommy, can I have that? I want that. I'm like, can I, can I, can I share it first? Can I even say thank you for them to sending it to me? And then just a whole bunch of different products in here. I'm not familiar with all these brands. So for me, this is a good way to discover... Um, Bodyography, uh, to discover all these new fun brands. Um, this one is a scalp serum. So yeah, I'll put the details in the description box. And then, oh, this I'm excited about because if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I've been going on about how, yeah, today's a no makeup day, so it is what it is how I didn't have any eyebrows. Like I had eyebrows, but they weren't really thick. But ever since I started using this brand, Grand Cosmetics, girls got eyebrows. <laughs> and I didn't put any, like I have absolutely no makeup on. Normally I still do my eyebrows every day, regardless of me not wearing any makeup. But today I've, I've been at home. Yes, I dressed up, I look cute, but I like to look cute when I'm at home working from home. But I did go out, grocery store, kids, some errands but nothing like major, but it was just one of those days. So I've actually been wearing my sunglasses because they cover half my face. So that's what I did all day today because my skin needs a break. Anywho, very excited about this. Oh, I'm very excited. But you know what? It looks like they're only like mascaras, mascaras, which I don't really use. Mm. Oh yeah, it looks like it's just the mascara stuff. But I, you know, I might still use, I'll use something. Let me see the waterproof conditioning mascara. Pre-mascara lengthening, intense thickening mascara. Oh, they don't have any of the growth serum stuff. Maybe I'm, I'll probably add some of this stuff to, um, what's it called? To a, give me to all the curl, curl friends. Okay. Take me, yeah, I, I guess I'll add it to a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then this was another brand. I think these are lipsticks. Um, Madame Gabriella. 
Hmm, interesting. So there, that was sent to me, which I thought was really nice. So there's just two more PR packages, actually, and then I'll share these new bags that I just got in from a black luxury brand. They're so good. Ooh. Okay, so first up, Taraji Pete Henson's brand sent me some more hair products. So this is a meditative fragrance mist. Interesting. I've never tried a meditative fragrance mist for your hair, so that's interesting. Formulated with all skin in mind, pH friendly, vegan, cruelty free, sulfate free, um, paraben free, mineral oil free. A, uh, gosh, I should put my glasses on. A sense of peace, find your center, blah, blah, blah. So how do you use it? Spray onto pulse points such as your wrist, neck, behind the knees and below the ears. And remember not to rub your wrist together after applicating to help the scent last longer. Oh, interesting. I thought it was something for your hair. So I guess it's just a, it's a meditative mist. I'll use it tonight. That's cool. Uh, what's this? Here we go now, here we glow now. And this one says, I'm farsighted, so. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Um, to use, apply to dry skin and massage in a circular motion. Allow to dry and apply anywhere and everywhere you want to glow, shine and shimmer. Oh, so this is like, oh, so this is a body lotion. Oh, it's a shimmering body lotion. I didn't know she did all this stuff. Oh, that's so good. I'm happy for her. That's so cool. So body lotion. Oh, okay. But that means my body will shimmer, shimmer. I don't know how I feel about shimmer body lotions. I know the girls use them all the time, but I'm like, I don't know how I feel about it. And this is a, a moisturizing conditioning mask. I'm assuming this is for the hair um, to use. Clean, wet, dry hair. So that is for hair. Uh, this says uh, make it rain, a hydration rich conditioner. Um, hydrate, smooth, detangle. Interesting. I'm going to take this with me to... Use generously on damp hair. I'm gonna take this with me when I get my hair done and see if I can use it on my hair because my hair is, um, I have a keratin treatment. So I, um, Lisa has said that I can only use certain products and certain products I should not use. So now before I use anything on my hair, I have to like run it by Lisa. So I'm just like, if I get hair campaigns, like I got it, hopefully <laughs> she says they're okay to use. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I'm on this hair journey. I'm trying to stay true to my hair. So we'll see. But yeah, anywho, so that's what I got from Taraji P. Henson's um, PR gifting. And then I got some fun stuff from L'Oreal. I just opened this one. I haven't really had a chance to dig in, but it looks like they're celebrating black history. I have, they sent this from L'Oreal, which I thought was really cute. Um, we celebrate your beauty inside and out this Black History Month and always. We hope you will love these goodies from L'Oreal Paris, curated by Crystal Thomas. Um, and her handle is at Crystal Thompson, 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 Sung. There's a G on the end. And our VP, um, oh, a, oh, sorry, AVP brand engagement. She selected a few of her favorite products, um, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. And then of course it says, because you're worth it, because it's L'Oreal. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like this. This is cute. This is very cute. I do do a lot of like notes. Um, in little books, but I might give this to my daughter because I think this is really cute and she likes to write. She's a writer. Oh, this is fun. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. Look at that hoodie. I'm worth it. Damn, yeah, damn straight I am. Maybe I should style this tomorrow and wear it with dress pants because y'all know I love to like switch things up and wear like casual cool things with dressy things. So I, I like that a lot. It's got a hoodie. So yeah, I might throw a blazer and a pair of dress pants and really give it a style twist. And then there's more. So there's a lot of stuff in this bag that was really hard for me to open. I think it's my arm. Um, so we have Bright Reveal. Uh, Daily Bright Reveal. This one has UV, is UV 50. So I guess these are all like products, L'Oreal products. I have to do another giveaway because my giveaway, oh, this, I love it. You know, I'm getting grays. I used to use this. I don't know why I haven't bought it, but I used to use this a lot. 
and I haven't used it in a minute. I need to tell my new management, I need a campaign with this because the grays be graying. You know, I'm going to be 45 this year, but she still looks like a baby. Anywho, so yeah, the grays are there. I don't have a lot of grays. Funny enough, I, you probably won't see. I probably have one or two. So yeah, I've been holding off. <laughs> I've been holding off on this aging thing, but I, I, my, my thing is the alternative means I'm six feet under. So at least I get to enjoy the company of my kids. I'm fortunate to be aging very gracefully. Um, so I'm, I'm happy about the aging process. I feel like I've become smarter, wiser, a lot more sure of myself and the decisions I make. So I thank God every day for the opportunity to see another day. That's why I dress up every day because being able to wake up and see another day is a blessing on its own. And I think we take that for granted way too much. So um, the older I get, the more I realize that. That's my TED talk, <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> Anywho, more stuff, True Match, what is this? Um, probably will go in the giveaway. I have so much makeup stuff right now and I don't like having this much around me or with me at, at once um, because then it gets into the clutter side and I'm slowly getting there and I need to stop. Um, this is more mascara. This one, so my son has a girlfriend. He's 14, he has a girlfriend. And she likes mascara, so I might give this to him. I was gonna give her the YSL one, but I could just hear my girlfriend saying, ah, he wants to give a 14 year old YSL mascara, why give it to me? So yeah, I might give her the L'Oreal one. But um, she's sweet, she, she did a fun little um, care package for him. It's their three month anniversary, and I'm just like, God. I said, I see how times have changed. I can't even imagine at 18 coming to my Nigerian parents saying, mommy, I have a boyfriend. My mother would have, she would have slapped me left, slapped me right. <laughs> but anywho, um, we're, we're doing parenting a little different from my parents. Um, yeah. But yes, um, I got this extra hold spray. I feel like they've, I've got this from them recently, which I haven't even used yet. More of the glow stuff. Um, I feel like this I've used. Brightening eye serum, I think I have. But this, I don't know, I have so many eye serums. So this will also probably go into a giveaway. This, I wanna try this um, color. This looks good. I'm, I'm trying to do darker colors. Yeah, that looks pretty good. When I use it, when I use it, I'll let you guys know. And then hopefully I'll remember to tag it. You know, I don't gatekeep. I know some people are like, you get, I'm, I don't gatekeep. It's just called memory forgetfulness. <laughs> I don't gatekeep. Trust me. It benefits me for you guys to use my links and me to share everything with you guys because that tells the brands that, you know, my audience shops, they want to work with me more, all of that stuff. Um, so there's no gatekeeping. There's no, I don't want to share anything. It's just, I just sometimes I forget. It's just that, it's just plain and simple. There's no two ways around it. It's not a conspiracy to keep things from you guys. My job is to keep you guys informed. Anywho, now the bags, the fun part. Ooh, I'm so excited. So, the designer behind this brand, I met, she's Nigerian. I met her during fashion week at the Black and Fashion Council studio, if I'm correct. And I was just like, when I saw the bags, I was like, wait, I've seen these bags before. I saw Jalisa. Um, carrying the bags and I was just like oh I love the bag when she photographed it I was like that's a good looking bag and then I see them on display and I'm like oh, so it's by a black designer made it even I don't know and then she's Nigerian and I'm like oh my god like this is amazing so I was having a conversation with her and she's like you know I reached out to you two years ago but you turned me down and I was just like oh my god I think so this is the thing a lot of people are like oh you say yes to everything that comes your way I do not because I am a minimalist at heart um, so I do tend to say no to a lot of things. I have to, or else I have nowhere to put things. Um, but I don't, I don't remember when she messaged me, but it might have been a, can you create content for me in exchange for product? That I tend to say no to just because there's a high expectation, at least I, that I put on myself when I create content and when I partner with brands. My expectation for myself is, it's, it's beyond belief and it's not, it's probably not healthy because I put such a burden on myself because I want it to be perfect. I want it to be perfect for you. I want it to be perfect for the brand. And it really has to speak to me. And I don't recall seeing these silhouettes. 
Um, so yeah, but I, I told her, I say a lot of times too, I have to see, especially when it comes to bags, I have to see it in person. I really have to see it in person. I have to see how it's made. I have to make sure that you guys have, or the brand has a, a website that makes shopping easy for you guys. Cause I'm like, if I'm recommending it, like it has to be something that I want, like that, or I will buy. So, but seeing her bags, I was like, I love these, like love. And her products are available on Saks and Nordstrom. So I was just like, kudos to you. I'm like, whatever I can do to support you as a brand, I will do because the quality is there, the workmanship is there, the price point is there. So yeah. With that said, I don't know what she sent to me yet. I wanted to like be surprised together. <laughs> okay, so I got the box here. It looks like there's a lot of stuff because there's a really big box. And she left a lovely note. Um, Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for your, yes. Oh, that's a lovely, oh, that's lovely. Oh, may God bless you. Amen. And bless you too. Amen. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, the first, ooh, oh, she, ooh. This green. I think it's the bag that I fell in love with when I went to see her. Yes, it is. Oh. So I don't know if I mentioned the name of the brand already. It's Silver and Riley. Oh, it's so beautiful. Guys, and the price point is amazing for luxury. You know, I've been saying it for a while. Hope You know, and there are a few... Um, black luxury brands out there you know workmanship is my forte and I look at that a lot and this is beautiful oh wow okay let me see if I can open it up okay that was easy and easy opening that's good oh. she's so pretty oh okay <laughs> she's so pretty but isn't she gorgeous oh. and she's got feet all the things that's the silver and riley logo i will link it <sighs> she's gorgeous darling <sighs> okay so there's more so let's see what else is here oh a scarf y'all know i collect scarves so oh i'm i oh look at that this is beautiful it's got green it's got orange we love and the beige that's beautiful and there's more <gasps> okay this i love okay okay all right silver and riley hooking a sister up with the bag she loved so when i went in i saw this bag and i was dying because not only is it a beautiful work bag but it's also a backpack so you have the strap that you can put at the back as a backpack it's a great um computer bag and this green is just oh, stunning. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous, darling. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this. I love it. It's so cute. Is she not gorgeous? Look at that. So I've been told that the Saint Laurent, what are they, opium? Opium are pretty painful. So I'm gonna give them a try. These are gorgeous. I love this off-white color. Layla put them aside for me. Um, so we're gonna try them on and see if I can actually walk in them or if they're as painful as all the girlies say they are. Hey, all stars. Welcome back. It's another day. I just finished shooting some content for um, Instagram as well as a sponsored post with Lagos. I've got all these fun pieces that I'm wearing. They're um, advertising their new caviar I, um, Apple Watch band, which is stunning. It's got the four links as opposed to I think before it had only three but I really love it. it's really fun and then all the black onyx stuff so and then with the diamond so I'm obs I'm obsessed like I, I don't know I love their gold pieces so I've always kind of picked gold pieces from them but this time around I got to pick a lot of the onyx and the black and I love this black and silver thing going on especially now that silver is very much on trend so 
there was a lot of other really cool pieces that they sent over. So whenever I, I know I'm holding it like it's nothing like <laughs> whenever I'm doing these collaborations with jewelry brands, I always get so antsy and anxious because they send so much stuff. Like I have like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff with me that I send back to, to the brand. Um, and then they do um, part of my contract is usually, you know, I get a few pieces here and there, but you know, shooting the content, I get to like try on all this beautiful jewelry and I love it. I love it. I won't lie. Um, but it does always make me, makes me anxious. Cause I'm like, I don't like, I don't like having other people's things. Does that make sense? I always feel like antsy when I'm dealing with other people's things. So I don't like, I don't like boring from people. I don't like taking things from other people because even though I'm really good with other people's things, I always feel very anxious and nervous. I'm like, God forbid, say if something happens that I have to buy a whole new thing to give back to the person. So I'm just like, let me just buy my own thing. I don't even know where I was going with that. Anywho, I am getting ready to go to Bermuda. Yay. So March is going to be a busy month for me. I've got a lot of travel this month, more than I probably would like to, especially after last year and the year before. The year before was a lot of travel. So I tried to make sure I didn't travel as much in 2023. Towards the end of the year, I did end up traveling a lot. Um, which wore me out. So I'm trying to pace myself. I've got, I think I'm going to be doing three trips in March. Of course, I'll bring you guys along. You just have to watch the vlogs. And then I think, I know I have one for sure in April. I don't know if anything else is going to come up. Anywho, I got some new in items from um, Sale to Sable. So I'm actually going to Bermuda with Sale to Sable. For those of you guys that have been rocking with me, you know I I pretty much shoot a lot of their um, shoot with them. My girlfriend, Jen Lake, shout out to Jen, um, partners with Celta Sable uh, with her capsule collection. And it's just gorgeous, beautiful. So I figured, you know what, let me try on the pieces real quick with you guys. And then when we get to Bermuda, you, you'll see them in action and all the good stuff. But I wanted to try everything on so I know what I'm packing. Um, in addition to the dresses, I got some new luggage. Jen, this is why I say I'm like, I'm so blessed with like just amazing friends and amazing people in my corner. Um, Jen works with um, Mark, Mark, Mark and Graham a lot. And she's like, you know, if there's anything you want from their selection, just let me know. We'll send it over. And I was like, well, you know, they do make really, really good luggage, like really, really good luggage. And my suitcases are like, I mean, they're, they're so ghetto. Well, they're not ghetto, but they're ghetto. There's cracks in them. And my husband's always like, why are you collecting suitcases? They all have cracks because when I travel, I, I try. To, I don't know. This is the funny thing about me. And maybe you guys can relate. So 2022, I had diamond status. This year, no, 2023, I had diamond status. This year, I have platinum status, which allocates, which gives me three bags. So I can stroll in with three. I have three bags. I don't have to pay for them. But I don't know whether it's the Nigerian in me. I don't know what it is. In my head, I believe that I have to only travel with one bag, that everything has to fit in that one bag. And then I stress myself out. I think I just like stressing myself out for no reason. I don't know what it is because I'm just like, why am I torturing myself to get, I would say two weeks worth of outfits because I'm usually shooting multiple looks into one bag. But that is like always the challenge that I try to like, and I usually, no, I won't say I fail. I usually get it done, but then it, but it's stressful. This past fashion week, February fashion week, I was just like, nope. No, ma'am, I'm not doing that to myself. So I went with two big suitcases and one little one. And then I remembered why I don't like taking two because pushing two big suitcases through um, Atlanta's Jack's, whatever the Atlanta out airport is, is difficult because the ride share is outside. So you have to like go all the way outside. And I'm that type of traveler that I just want to like arrive and just, you know, stroll in and just... <laughs> Basically, every, if you can picture someone just gliding, that is me when I travel. I just want to glide through everywhere. I don't want to be stressed. I don't want any kind of stress whatsoever. I just want a, like, a, a flawless, seamless travel experience. I think because I have, I have the tendency to get anxious, so I just want, I try to pre prepare everything so that doesn't happen. So I get to the airport early. I do all the things to make sure I'm not stressed out. 
So I think it's that's the part that just throws me off. But anywho, enough of the rambling because clearly you put a microphone in my hand and I just keep on going on and on and on. So I'm just going to stop talking. I'm going to show you guys the new luggage and then we're going to try on some dresses. Yay. <laughs> okay, so this is a new furniture um, suitcase luggage. I got the large size and the check-in and we have my initials ABM odd by Monica, odd by Monica on both the... Um, the check-in and the expandable carry-on. I made sure I got the expandable carry-on this time around. I have one of these bags. They sent one to me a few years back, but um, I just did the carry-on. I didn't realize they had an expandable option, so I'm happy I got the expandable option. And my other one was white, so it comes in a whole bunch of different colors. They do do the monogram, so you can have whatever initials and whatever you want on the bag. Of course, I did Odd by Monica on both. I also opted for a dark brown with the leather trim in the beautiful Cognac. Kind of a Risa Tisa, you know, the way she wants her, the way she wanted her BMW to be. What did y'all think about that Risa Tisa video on TikTok? Let me know. Let me know. I'm curious to know about that. But anywho, I did the blue with the Cognac um, leather trims, and I love it because all my bet, all my luggage has been. Actually, let me bring you guys up because I've showed you guys the bag, so I can bring you guys back up. I was saying all my bags are, all my luggage really, at least the most recent luggage that brands have sent to me. If I'm being honest, I haven't bought luggage in a long time. Disclaimer, I did tell you guys this was gifted, um, you know, but I have... The one that I had before, love it. My daughter uses it now. And then I have these ones. But all the other luggage that I have, for some reason, I've, all, I've just been asking for pretty colors. And after one trip, they come back like, it's almost as if the air people or airline people are just like, oh, that's a, a, a nice brand new set of luggage. And they just, they destroy it. There was one brand that sent me the, the one, uh, this is the one I tend to use the most now. It's from Rome. And they sent me, I, I picked it because you can customize your luggage, to whatever colors. And I picked a light pink beautiful blush pink because I'm a pink girly and then with red and white handles after one trip Delta destroyed my bag and I did file a complaint and everything but I forgot to follow through and I could have got my money back but maybe I should still try and see if I can follow through on that it was it was a while ago though so at this point I'm just like really really Monica if it really bothered you that much but now in hindsight it does bother me but anyway I wanted to make sure I got um a darker color that would probably still look just as good, even getting a beat. So I'm hoping this navy, you know, fares pretty good. So I'll keep you guys posted. But I, I visually, I love it. Like, I'm so obsessed. I'm so happy. And then in addition to the luggage, they also sent me these packing cubes. Because you know, if you guys have packed with me, y'all know I love a good packing cube now. So look at that. Look at that. The pa even the packing cubes say ABM. I love it. I've said this before. Put my name on anything and it makes me happy. <laughs> I feel like a cheap date that you can just buy anything for them early. Well, not buy anything, but just those little details, I, I guess I just really like. So it's got all these different little cube thingies. So I guess, I, you know, I'll put underwear in there, um, sleeping stuff, uh, maybe cosmetic stuff here. I can put like dirty clothes in this one after I use them. I think I'll probably, I don't know, maybe cosmetics or hair stuff in this one. And then we have the big one. So this is good. This is good because this trip to Bermuda, I'm trying to see if I can do just a carry on. I know, I know this is me torturing myself again, but I don't want to check bags in. I don't know why. Like I said, I, and this trip, no, is this trip? I think they did. They, yeah. Okay. Anywho, I don't know. I might just, I might just take both. I think I'm going to take both because they usually give us a lot of stuff when we go on these trips. And then I, ooh, I'm going to bring hats. So I'm definitely going to bring the big one. I'm just going to travel light. I think that's what it is. I just need to learn how to travel light. And I don't have to bring my big, I probably, ooh, this will be the first, I keep on saying, ooh, because it's like I'm having like moments of just revelation to myself. Maybe this will be a good opportunity for me to travel without um, my camera. Number one, I don't need my camera at all. And I'm going to keep on reminding myself, you don't need to shoot anything. Even though I'm going for work, Allie, who's amazing. You guys have seen Allie. I can't wait to see her. I haven't seen her in a minute. Allie's going to be there. So, you know, and I've actually shot some really good stuff with my cell phone. So this is me talking myself. You guys are honestly, when I have these like long rants, it's because I have no one else. No one else is going to listen. 
<laughs> my sisters are like, they don't care. But these are the little things that are on my mind that I'm just like, who else am I going to tell this shit to? So thank you for being <laughs> a listening ear. Anywho, let's try on these dresses. Okay, so this is the first dress. I love it. I did get a medium. Um, and I, I think it fits perfect. Uh, I don't think I would feel comfortable in a size small which is usually my true size so i've asked them to just send me mediums there is one dress that i'm kind of afraid that the medium might be too big but this one is perfect um the girls feel nice and secure i probably will do a little boob tape to kind of give myself a little bit of a lift but it has the belt i just tied the belt to the front it can be tied at the back i just want to see what that looked like as well so now i'm going to try and figure out styling because um i'm leaving in three days so i gave myself a little bit of time this time around but this is the first dress and i love it i don't know what i'm going to do with my hair yet i want to go like this with my hair straight but i'm going to be in the caribbeans and i don't think my hair even with the keratin i don't think it's going to last or it's going to survive the heat so I don't know. And Lisa, shout out to Lisa if she's watching. She doesn't want me putting gel and all the things in the hair. So I, I'm probably just going to bring a wig or I'm going to do a lot of hats. So I figured, you know what, this is a great opportunity to play around with hats because it's all about vacation. It's all about looking fabulous, looking like that rich girl, just strolling through the Caribbeans and enjoying the beautiful weather and all that good stuff. <laughs> and I, I'm like, this is like, these are the pieces that I like to wear during the summertime because the fabrics are great nice and lightweight um it's not cotton i don't know what fabric this is it's almost like there it feels like there's silk in there i have to look at the details but the finish on this is just really really good i actually really love it and the more i wear it i feel very comfortable oh i didn't say so but it's got pockets i love anything with pockets but it's so pretty it's so pretty i'm dressing up all summer so just be warned somebody somebody sent a message or something like oh you're, you'll look better than the host or the person at the event i'm like if you invite me to an event and you don't dress up that's a you problem because anywhere i go this year i am dressing up i don't care i'm dressing up i'm using the clothes the clothes that i have so i encourage you all to do the same anywho there's more let's keep on going Okay, so I just realized that I recorded all of that and I didn't use my mics. <laughs> so let me make sure this thing. Okay, good. It's recording. <laughs> so I figured, you know what? Let me just do that again because I'm far from the camera and I don't think it would be clear enough. I have started packing and using the packing cubes. I figured, you know what? If I'm trying it on now, I might as well pack um, and at least this part of it. So that's done with. But yes, this blue dress I love. It's got pockets. We love that. It's lined as well. Beautiful fabric, very similar to the pink dress, very flowy, very fun. Also in a medium, it fits perfectly. I said before that um, knowing myself outside of the photo shoot, because obviously, you know, for a brand shoot, you want it the way the brand has it. But outside of the photo shoot, I will wear probably my white Valentino belt with this, um, my Chanel dad sandals to make it casual fun. You know, I keep on saying, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anywho, um, I love it. It's really flirty. It's very fun. I might dress it up for this shoot. I'm not sure yet. I might bear the pain and bring my Manolo um, hangisis in that beautiful um, royal blue and stand in one place and pose with my Kelly. Um, just kind of to show a way to wear it, I guess, to tea, to go to like tea or something a bit fancy and more casual. I think that would be really good. So, but the dress is really fun. I really love this. And if I didn't say so already, I got the medium. It fits really good. I prefer it to be a little bit more oversized than to be fitted in this situation. I don't even think any, not that I don't think I know no tailoring, nothing is needed. It's a perfect fit. Um, anything smaller would just kind of take away from what you want. You want fullness, right? You want it to be fun and to be flirting, to kind of drape over the body, especially in this type of fabric. So in my opinion, you don't want pieces like this to be fitted, you know, or too small. You're better off having them slightly bigger because the fit just sits better. Or they just sit better, period. Anywho, we love. So pretty. Okay, so this was the one that I was afraid of would be too big and it's too big. So I have to let them know. This is a medium in fitted clothes like this. I know that I need to always go with my normal size. So I did the medium and as you can see, like this is me holding it in. So I probably could even do the extra small. I will not do the extra small. I'm gonna ask them for a small. The pockets are actually real pockets. They're not faux pockets, I love that. I love this lace um, collar. I think that's so beautiful. 
I actually really, really love this dress. I, p I picked these pieces. They're, they have, have a line sheet, and this was like my top pick, because it's just, to me, it's so pretty. Like, I could do a lot with this, a lot. So stay tuned to be wowed by the way I style this, because the possibilities are endless, but really beautiful. I love the go detail. I love that um, lace um, bib collar. Yeah, she's fun, she's pretty. I'm definitely gonna dress this one up, so stay tuned. I mean, this dress is so pretty. Oh, I love it. Are you guys not obsessed? For all my girlies, for all my all-stars that love pretty baby doll, girly girl dresses, this one's for you. I love it. The fabric is the same as the other two pieces. Um, and it's also lined, there's pockets. I am obsessed. It is so beautiful. I just decided to put my um, Valentino belt on the dress and just wear it that way because it is a little big in the waist wise. I also don't have a bra. So in my head, my either my breasts are either going to be taped or wearing a strapless bra. So I'm trying to keep that in mind, how that'll fit. And then also to... Um, I'm not sure if when we're shooting it, if they'll let me wear the belt, but if they do, I'll probably just have the, Val the Valentino logo turned around to the back. Like, so actually I'll show you guys what it looked like with out the belt. So you guys have a great idea in case anyone wants to get it. So it's not bad. It's just me knowing me. I, I feel like with dresses like this, I prefer when my waist is singed in a little bit. So as you can see, it's not bad. It looks really pretty. There's great movement. It's nice and full with the skirt of the dress. And then there's also an elastic at the back. So I could go down a size. I really could, but I also need the length. So that's kind of the things that I put in mind or what I consider before, you know, when I pick a size or whatever. The fullness, I get more fullness when I go up a size. I get more length. I'm not the tallest person. I'm five five six. Well, I'm five, five and a half. I rounded up to five six. But I do have long legs, so I have to always accommodate that. So you always have to be mindful of your body type and where do you need a little extra. So if I want, I could also go in to get this tailored, right, to make it a perfect fit. But my belt kind of solves that problem. But don't hesitate to go up a size so you can achieve the exact fit you want. So keep that in mind. But yes, it's so pretty. Oh. Oh, I love it. You know, the only thing I find hard is to tie the bows myself. I always find that hard. And especially after my shoulder injury, I find it hard to get the bows right. But I'm going to be shooting with girls that, you know, know how to get a bow right. But as long as I have that initial knot, then I can do the bow. It's just, it's hard with the, with a shoulder. But yes, it's so pretty. I'm going to be trolling in this one all summer long. Spring, summer long, actually. I wonder, I'm still, I think this will still be good because the fabric is really breathable. Because in my head, these are spring dresses. This is their spring collection. So I'm curious to know, like, will this fare as well in the summertime? They usually do a lot of cotton during the summertime, but this fabric just feels very breathable. So I'm pretty excited about it. Anywho, uh, yeah, that's it. Ooh, is that it? I feel like there's more. No, that's it. That's it, guys. So I think I'll see you next in Bermuda. Bye, All Stars. Hey, All Stars. Quick outfit check or yeah outfit of the day first outfit of the day i am traveling so i'm switching things up a little bit well my hair is wrapped it's very early so i'm shooting in Ber bermuda so got my hair wrapped the scarf is hermes my glasses are my good faithful gucci's this set that i'm wearing is amazing i've never really traveled in leggings or like a tracksuit like this before but um haven i think it's haven above i can't remember it's um part it's part of um, Talbot's and they sent me this really cool set and it came right on time. I love the blue. It's such a pretty shade. Under that I have my Banana Republic rib tank top which I swear by. Chanel air pad case holder, my Louis Vuitton scarf. This Banana Republic jacket that I love. It's going to be a little chilly in Bermuda so I have my little jacket. I'm not carrying my um, um, Christian, Christian Dior book tote today. I'm just traveling with my Bottega bag because I have this carry-on and I have another big bag so and I'm only there for four days so I didn't need that much and then wearing my Sambas for shoes and then that's it this is the look and then my other luggage is outside I'm rushing because I gotta go cars here bye all stars see you in Bermuda hey all stars welcome to Bermuda it's so beautiful here 
Um, I'm gonna give you a room tour and everything, but for those of you guys that have been following me, I have been to this property before. I'm at the Coral Beach, um, Coral Beach Tennis Club in Bermuda. The last time I was here, came here as well. Um, and I'm back and I'm so happy to be back. And the good thing about this trip is that the weather is excellent. So I have my hair wrapped um, because the weather's gonna be in like the high 60s. So it's perfect, it's nice and cool. It is a little windy, so I brought scarves. I'm gonna probably be styling my hair a lot with scarves. But for the most part, I'm happy to be here because it's not too hot. I don't like when it's too hot. It's perfect weather for me. It's like I'll put on a nice cardigan or wear a skull, scarf type of weather. But anywho, enough of the rambling. I'm going to actually take you guys outside first and show you guys this view because it is everything. And then I'll bring you back into the room. Actually, the last time I was here, if you remember, I had like a little cottage, like a whole house to myself. And in all honesty, I was scared shitless because I was by myself. <laughs> and it's at the end of the property so this time around i have a room and i'm so happy with it because it's nice and spacious i have an amazing view so i'm going to show you guys all of that and then i'll show you guys the house that i was in last time too look at that view look at the water guys oh it's stunning here it's so pretty it's so windy so i'm hoping i don't lose my hermes scarf i hope you guys can hear me over there is the house i used to that was the house that i stayed in the last time so that pink little house over there was all to me. And now I have this fun space with this beautiful balcony. So I can sit back, relax, and chill here if I want to. We love this. So now I'm gonna take you guys inside. But before that, or before we do that, let's look at this view one more time. Water is stunning. Oh. Okay, so this is home for the next couple of days. We've got the lovely king-size bed. And the decorations here are definitely giving me tropical island cottage. We love that. Little initials on the bed. I guess that's the crest for the property. Nice and spacious. And then let's show you guys the washroom. A little vanity section. Bag sitting pretty. So this is the washroom. Let me increase the ISOs so you guys can see. So it's nice and bright and fun. And then we've got a little sink area here. And, ooh, a nice little bag. And just, I guess, um, hanging space. So yeah. Okay, so this is my room. I need to settle in, freshen up all the things, and then tie myself Appropriately because we have our photo shoot start at about 4 30 and it's already I think it's about three o'clock So I'm gonna put you guys down and I will bring you I'll bring you guys along as you know We get into photo shoots and do all the fun things. I don't know if I said that I was here with sales to Sable. I travel with them pretty much I feel like every year for a couple of years now I've done their the shoots with them So I'm always excited to see the girls to see my friends and to do these shoots so I will bring you guys along as much as possible but now I gotta I don't even know what the word is that's how tired I am and I'll see you guys later <laughs> hey all stars quick outfit of the day from Bermuda this is the first look I'm going to be shooting this as well um, but I wanted to share it with you guys uh, we we're gonna be going for dinner and probably doing a few other things tonight, not sure. But this is what I'm wearing. It's a sail to sable dress. I love the dress. I love that it has pockets. It comes, comes with this belt. I'm doing my Chanel um, blue bag because it just goes really well. And then my Chanel dad sandals. I have my hair out straight. Hopefully the weather continues to stay good. Um, it's in the 60s, so it's not super hot but it's pretty windy, so I will be having a hat as well. I'll show you the hat. Actually, I have two options for a hat. This one, the brand gifted, but I also brought this one. So I feel like this one looks better, I'm not sure. I might just bring both of them, but yeah, those are my options. I'm gonna hold them until my hair needs it. But yeah, this is the look. I had to increase the light. I figured you guys couldn't see my face. And my makeup looks really good, but I'm in a rush. I'm really late, so, but outfit of the night for uh, Bermuda. What are we wearing? What are we wearing? We're wearing sail to sable. Yes. 
archived 2022. Yes. And on the a little, shoes. A little J. Crew. Oh, we love it. Again. Oh. Archived. Okay. okay. Our, yeah, I think I think 2019. <laughs> so no link. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it's time for dinner. I had to tie my hair down because um, the wind was like not today. So yeah, we're gonna have dinner and I'll bring you guys along. stars from Bermuda. Y'all, why did I think I can come to a Caribbean island with my hair bone straight and believe that it would last? Sorry about the in and out of the light. But um, yeah, that didn't work. I had my hair straight. It was cute. And in context, the weather is really nice. It's very cool. It's not too hot. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna have my hair bone straight, rock my um, bob, Bob didn't make it. The wind took my hair. So wearing my Hermes scarf this morning. But yes, just about to grab something. So I will get back and see you guys in a minute. But I just wanted to tell you guys that real quick. And I'll see you guys in a second. Veronica, why are you not on YouTube? Because I need another me. I hear you on that. I hear Look who's here. It's Abby. Say good morning. Good morning. What are you guys wearing? Yeah. I feel is this your favorite? I think so. Me too. I really love it. Me too. I feel like I feel like I could just like live in this pink, white, and like and just it's so comfortable. Yeah. Alright, what are you guys handles for my YouTube audience? At Bellsaball45. Abby, are you on YouTube? I am, but I haven't posted a video in like four years. So maybe Dude. I'll make my comeback. Exactly, make your comeback. <laughs> I want to make my comeback for sure. I yeah. did bring my little vlog camera, so so let's use it. You never it. know. Let's, you never okay. know. All right, and we're trying to we're trying to get you on. Yes. Are we gonna do it? Fifth. All right. So if you guys are on Instagram, make sure you guys follow everybody. All right, bye guys. Oh, Jen's here too. Oh, Jen's doing some other stuff. Anywho, back to shooting. Hey, all stars. Okay, outfit of the day. This is day two in Bermuda. Um, the wind is winding, so I had to pack up my hair. I'm not even gonna try to like do anything heat wise. So I have on this Hermes scarf. Um, I already done my photo shoots and had breakfast, but I figured, you know, what, I gotta share this outfit because it's super cute. But yes, I decided to do the Hermes scarf and do the half bun. But even, I have another shoot, so we're going out again for lunch and I'm gonna change and I'll share that look with you guys, but I'm gonna do something different with my hair to just not have to bother with it. But the glasses are Lor, Lorve, Lorveil, I hope I said that right, Lor, Lorve. Love them, they're really fun. And then the dress, of course, Sail to Sable. I showed you guys this dress in the pack with me, get ready with me for my Bermuda vlog, if you haven't seen the vlog. I'm not sure if this is gonna be on the vlog or if it's gonna be on the OOTD, so if it is, y'all know. Anywho, belts, we got the Valentino, but I did, you know, twist the belt around. I didn't want the logo V in the front, so just using the white. Then we've got the Chanel. And then on my feet, I'm gonna say what it is first and then step back because I don't have my mic on. But on my feet, I am wearing my white Hermes Oran slides for my photo shoot. I wore these, so for breakfast, I just wore the slides, but this was really fun and dressy. If I have the images, I'll insert them so you guys can see what that looked like. But I'm gonna step back so you guys can see the final look. Oh, I almost forgot. These um, are from of Ofuri. You guys would have seen these in my New York Fashion Week vlog. It was gifted to me by the brand. I love them, they're really fun. And this is the look. It's so pretty. I feel like a girly girl in this look. I love it. It's perfect for spring, summertime, vacationing. I love it. Anyhow, outfit, well, first outfit of the day. 
Hi, All Stars. Okay, All Stars, get into this outfit. The sun went down. I hope you guys can see me. Mind you, I have my sunglasses on, so maybe you guys can see me fine. But the sun went down a little bit, so I hope it's still nice and clear. Actually, let me move you guys over a little bit this way. That might be better. Anywho, of course, the dress is from Sale to Sable. We love It's giving ladies who lunch, darling. It's giving we're fabulous, and I'm here for it. And then this was the hat that the brand gifted to me, but I put my Chanel scarf on it because I really wanted to kind of play on that look. Oh, another cool thing is this collar is actually removable. So if the lace is not your thing, which I don't understand why it would not be your thing, but you can remove it. But I love the lace. But yes, I put my Chanel scarf on it, just tied it to the back, wearing my Chanel earrings. Um, the glasses are Gucci. We've got the Valentino cuff. I will be carrying my little Fendography bag. And then I have the chain, just letting it hang. And then my shoes are also Fendi. I'm going to step back one more time, share the final look. And I got to go because I'm rushing. And of course, notice the hand. I don't know what I'm doing with the hand, guys, but the hand's going. And anyway. It's so chic. I love this. I love this. I think I think this is a vibe for me. What do you guys think? This is a vibe for me, right? Okay, yes. Okay. All right, my all-stars. So pretty. Oh, now I don't. I, I think I might. I don't know. Okay, guys. This outfit of the day or outfit check has to be super quick. I love this dress. Oh, it's so good. Um, it's very clean and classic, and I feel like all the girls are making it a little dressy for the shoot. So I am making it casual, cool, and just wearing my Oran slides. But I did all these necklaces. So I've got my Michael Kors necklace, Saint Laurent, and then Dylan Lex, and then I'm doing Idol. Um, earrings. I have my hair in a top bun, not pulling on the hair. I also have a scarf to kind of hold it down in between shoots because we're doing lunch and we're doing some sightseeing. So this is the look. I'm going to get my Fendography bag. I wasn't sure about the bags, but now looking at the outfit, the Fendography bag will be perfect. Let me get it one moment, please. All right, so this is the final look. I love it. It's so good. All right, bye, all stars. Can we have a moment for what Allie did with this dress? I love it. It's giving Carolina Herrera. It's giving all the feels. I love it. Yo, I feel so rich right now. Yes. Well, girl, she's looking like a rich bitch with that Mew Mew bag that I want to steal. Oh, this? Oh, this old thing? <laughs> that old thing. And then we've got, no, okay, we've got the Hermes on the feet. I thought you were wearing those Viviers, but yes, we'll, no, we'll, we'll take the Hermes. No, we went for a little more, like, subtle, understated vibe today. We, we love a good understated we're really, vibe. We're really casual today. <laughs> we yeah. love it. We love it. All right, let's go take care of that rash. <laughs> Good 
Good morning, All Stars. It's the last day in Bermuda and so tired, just running over to get breakfast. Uh, gosh, it's too blown out so you guys can't see the view, but it's been a great couple of days. I'm gonna run and get breakfast real quick and then I wanna just kind of do a quick recap with you guys before I head out. All right, just wanted to say good morning. Hey, All Stars. Last outfit from Bermuda. Clearly it's a travel outfit, got my luggage all packed, ready to go. It's not hot today in Bermuda. It's still a little chilly, um, but this is my trench. You guys can see that you guys have seen this trench it is from banana republic i love it i don't i'm not sure if it's still available i did link it and i noticed someone still bought it so i don't know if they still have a few sizes left but i know it went on crazy sell so it's a great jacket love it um under that i have my cashmere set i think this is from mm lafer i can't remember but i will link something similar because this is very old but we've got the cashmere hoodie and the matching joggers I have my Banana Republic tank top under it. I'm obsessed with this tank top. You guys already know how I feel about it. I do think it's sold out if I'm correct, but I have links something similar. Choker is Saint Laurent. Glasses are very old Gucci. Wearing my Idol earrings, because you all know I love these. They're super fun. Um, what else? Chanel ear pod case holder. We've got my little Bottega bag. I didn't carry my Dior book toe because I wanted to travel somewhat lighter. So I just did the Bottega bag. And then on the shoes, <laughs> we've got the Adidas Sambas. I'm still gonna step back so you guys can see the full look. But yeah, this is the travel look, casual, cool. Oh, and then arm candy. All the usual suspects, keeping it simple. But yeah, Bermuda was fun. And this is the last look. We love, we love, we love. All right, I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod, show you guys the full look in a mirror, and then I'm out. stars I figure I get on real quick before I end the vlog today is the last day in Bermuda and I feel like I haven't done a lot of talking and just kind of explaining what was going on so I think I might have mentioned this in the beginning I'm here with Celta Sable this is my second time in Bermuda with the brand second time on this property I am at the Coral Beach tennis club in Bermuda absolutely beautiful property very old property it's got a lot of charm it's got a lot of you know I feel like everything you want when you come to a Caribbean island it's also very Americanized so you'll see a lot of American people here um, people from all around the world to be honest but it's very I, I'm finding it to be very Americanized um, food's great people are amazing very um, warm very accommodating um it's just been a great experience i didn't overpack this time because i feel like i am kind of prone to overpacking i didn't overpack i packed what i needed i was very tempted to just do more try and create more but i just you know i feel like the older i get i'm realizing that i don't always have to keep up especially because everyone else was like shooting more and they bought extra clothes but I'm also, I didn't want to be disrespectful to the brand and start shooting other campaigns or other things here. So I kept it very much to a minimum and only shot items for the brand. I did struggle a little bit with my hair because, you know, because it's not super hot um, this time of year in Bermuda, like it's been in the high 60s maybe low 70s I just really thought my hair would be able to withstand anything you know at that temperature but I didn't realize that the humidity <laughs> meant that my hair the humidity and the wind it was very windy so it's very windy this time of year in Bermuda so keep that in mind in case you ever decide to come out this way but um yeah it's also very quiet and I, I like that I always I consider myself to be a city girl um, I like noise and all of that stuff, but I am beginning to have a real strong appreciation for quiet, for peace. And I think it's just, I don't know whether if it's with age, I don't know if it's just becoming more and more assured 
of who I am as a person and some of the things that I like. I think I've always been like, try to be a people pleaser and just go with the flow. And when you do that, sometimes it's hard to identify what you actually enjoy and what you like. So I'm learning what I actually enjoy, what I like. Um, one of the girls, it's so funny, one of the girls, Veronica, she's originally from Belarus. And I feel like the only like the only difference is she's white, I'm black, but we have so many similar things in common from our car choices to just so many different things. And it was wild to me. This is her first time coming with us on the trip. Everyone else I've traveled with. But, you know, she was talking about, um, I can't remember what it's called, but this system, a number system where you identify people's personalities. And I think she said I'm a seven or eight. I can't remember what it's called. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, where everyone's different numbers and stuff. So, and I, I did it once with a friend. I think she said I was an eight. I don't know. Because she's like, she's, she was like, she can't really pinpoint me exactly because I feel like she, she felt like I had a little a lot of different different personality traits for the different numbers I don't know anyway but yeah I just I don't know I feel like the older I get I'm just beginning to realize and understand myself more and I understand that there are parts of me that do contradict a little bit of my core but I think that's okay I feel like we all contradict ourselves a little bit and that's okay but just understanding and learning who we are as people, I think that's just so important. And I'm, con I'm continuing to do that, continuing to learn and discover myself. So I don't know where I was going with that, but I felt like with this trip, I just kind of, I just had another realization of that. So, and I'm feeling like every time I go away, it's just a great opportunity for me to just reflect and just to really think about like my experience, how I experienced, how I moved. Did I move at everyone else's pace or was I moving at a pace that was comfortable for me? So. And I feel like I moved at a pace that was comfortable. But the dresses, they were so good. Did you guys not love them? I love them. I think the pink dress with the deep V was my favorite look. Um, I don't know how many clips of that I have, but I'm going to try and insert like pictures as well. So just so you guys can see more of the dresses. And then the dresses all are going to be live by the time this is live. This is like probably the fastest turnaround we've ever done because they go live on the 13th. So Hopefully everything doesn't sell out. I know they're already like ordering more in certain of the pieces. There was this navy, the navy and white dress, absolutely beautiful. I didn't get that particular dress. It wasn't one of my top picks, um, but I actually might have to buy the dress because it was stunning. It was absolutely beautiful. That's how much I loved the dress. But the pink dress, favorite, oh, it's stunning. The pink and white dress, I had a FaceTime with my sister and she was like, you need to send that dress to me ASAP. I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> she's like, I'll patiently wait. I'm like, not with this one, it's timeless. So she's like, okay, I'll just order my own. But yeah, that was a good one too. The blue and white ones were good. Sorry, my phone keeps on beeping. <laughs> one moment, please. Sorry about that. But yes, anywho, the dresses were really great. Everybody was amazing. Always a pleasure seeing everyone. Ali, Jen, Mackenzie, everyone was, it was just a great time, so. Can't wait to get back home um, and just see my babies and the husband and everything and just take, oh gosh. I feel like today I just need to move slow. I was gonna say I'm gonna take Sunday off, but I do have content that needs to go live, so I can't really take it off completely. But for the most part, I'm just gonna pace myself. But anyway, it was a great trip. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are contemplating of coming to Bermuda, I feel like you absolutely 100% need to come. This place is amazing. There are so many great um, places. Food was great. Oh, the food was so good. At all the different restaurants the food was great even like the little you know more casual cool place we went to the what i think it was called wahoo that place was really good the food was really really good and the customer service was just excellent um we went to i think it was the princess hamilton i can't remember the name of the pink hotel that was another great one that one felt very much like an elevated um an elevated marriott but with great art they had um what's the name of that i can't remember the name of the the the, the the artist, but they had all this great art, but that big brown statue, I, I know I took a video of that, so, but there was just so much great art there, but there's just so many great places here. But anywho, make sure you guys check out the Inst my Instagram post with Sale to Sable on the 12th, that's the Tuesday. It went live already, so it'll be live, so you can just, after you watch this, just go ahead and check it out and see all the different outfits, the ph photography, stunning the images amazing so just check all of that out and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're not following me on instagram make sure you follow me it's odd by money on instagram also follow me on tiktok odd by money as well 
you kind of get real time content. You get a lot more style inspo. All the things are there on Instagram. So make sure you're following me. Also, don't forget to check out my website, oddbymonica.com. Don't forget to pick up your pieces from the sale to sable drop with Times Gen Lake. I will have everything linked in the description box. Guys, the fabrics this time are amazing. I don't know if any of you guys have bought any of the pieces from this brand, but they used cotton, a lot of cottons in the past and this time around they use like a silk cotton and it's just beautiful it, it travels so well y'all know you already know i hate ironing this stuff iron like it's like one seam like it was good and then the i think the blue dress like i barely had to do anything with it so perfect travel pieces perfect for vacation perfect for spring the white sheet dress that one obviously it's a sheet dress it's more stiff it gets you know wrinkled so even to shoot it we kind of like i had mine on the hanger because of course it's a photo shoot for product we want it to look the best but that one i would say you know it has a tendency to wrinkle but it's a great dress for like tea for you know some somewhere that you want to go that you want to look like that rich bee that dress is for you but anywho everything will be linked um just wanted to put that out there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye all stars